Non-stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Welcome, welcome to our Monday evening pop-up. It's nine o'clock. Nothing gets past me, of course. And a very, very warm welcome to our phone-in program. Now, our big phone-ins, of course, as you very well know, are Friday night and Saturday night at 10 o'clock. We need to know tonight if that's the best time for you. So I'll be discussing that with you and see what suits. So that's Friday night, of course, and Saturday night at 10 o'clock, the Scotty McClue megaphone in. And dinky-doo, we're off to the telephones already. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, it's Kareem. Hello. Ah, Kareem, good evening. Well done, sir. So good of you to join us. How are we? We're absolutely excellent, Kareem. I was very interested in all your chat on social media over the weekend. Yes, did you, did you get to read some of it? <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, absolutely amazing stuff, you know. But I think really what's going to happen, we need to get very clear definition on what's happening with the monarchy where Scotland to go independent. Yeah. I... I... If you read all the comments, Scotty, I got a lot of abuse that I am I do I'm a member of the SNP party and I am a member of the Alba Party. Yes. But for what for them voting through to get rid of the monarchy, I basically said everything that I've said in the show before about the fifty six pence a year tax, yes. about the local economies bringing money back in, it'd be important for uh, an independent Scotland. And people tried to shoot me down. I mean they were they were putting out some of them were saying that amusement parks bring in more money than what the royal family Nonsense. in the country. Nonsense. I mean, just before the pandemic, the royal family brought in two billion pounds a year. Mm -hmm. So their heads are stuffed with this nonsense and they're using it to try and in some way denigrate our royal family. And that's unacceptable yeah. because, Kareem, what they're going to do is lose 50% of the vote. Correct. And I did say that. I said at the end of the day that the, a lot of unionists attach themselves to the monarchy. They feel, as you've said before yourself, is loyalty. Mm. Now, at the end of the day, um, for independent Scotland, I do believe, I, I did end up saying, we'll put it a vote to the people because at the end of the day, you know you'll lose the vote. People mm. will vote to keep the monarchy if there was ever such a thing to, to be put in place. And I think what's happened, Karim, the nationalists need to look at their own history. There's a lot of ignorance and they need to look at their own history. Now, the movement has gone up and down over the years, but if it's perceived to be anti-monarchist, it just plummets like a stone. And this happened, I think, in the 1930s, you know? And, and, and I think all that's got to be seriously looked at. And I, I wish they would just come out and quite clearly state that they are 100% behind the monarchy as head of state. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not worried about it at all because I think, as you know, with every single party, you get the, the numpties that attach themselves to it. Yes. Uh, and at the moment, we've got some of the numpties that have left the SNP, jumped to Alba and... That some of the comments were just absolutely outrageous. Um, but at the end of the day, I did say to them, well, if that's the case, you put the nail in the coffin towards independence in. Um, yes, yes. And they really need to have a long think about that. At the end of the day, and I, I did put my hand up, I did say this, Scotty, I said, look, I would not ever go and see one of the royals. It's not my thing, but no. I understand the importance that the monarchy plays within the United Kingdom, within Scotland. I'm looking at the bigger picture here. And by all means, there will be people that will go and see the royals, and that's their choice, and that's what it's down to, is choice. But I just wish people would educate themselves a lot more. They talked about the, the, the money. Mm -hmm. that we spend so much money and as i said to you before it's, you we know don't. it's 56 pence yeah. a year out your tax I yeah. said, so you're more than happy to give hundreds out your own wages mm -hmm. to go towards people within society that have no intention of working and playing the system but when we're talking about 56 pence a year and we get so much back in return it's a no-brainer and you're dealing what you're dealing with a lot on social media of course tremendous ignorance so they keep repeating the same thing they say that they're taking from us they're taking our tax they're costing us blah 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 and of course they're missing the point behind the scenes brexit's is running away with you know 250 billion quid and nobody's saying icky or okay mm -hmm. I, 
I think they'll probably be more vocal near at April time when when this comes into effect. And don't get me wrong, it's going to affect everybody. I mean, what is unfair is if you are earning under fifty thousand pounds, you're getting hit big time. If you're getting over fifty thousand, it's it's really you're getting it's on a couple. Well, it's not that much at all. So I'm going to be probably about thirty pounds a month extra uh, that I'm having to pay towards the Down South National Health Service because they've ran into the ground. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Kareem, you're talking nothing but sense. <laughs> Thank you, <Scotty. laughs> um, listen, I that's really all. I just wanted to get that off my chest tonight. No, but you're quite right. right. There is, of course, another side to it. I mean, that's us, you know, talking about the nationalists here. Now, um, if we look at the other side of it as well, of course, um, you know, there's so much wishy-washy coming out of Westminster. And I had to tell somebody the other day what they said about separatists. And I said, you know, the, 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 they said about uh, the Scots being divisive. I said, I'm afraid it's Westminster that's being divisive. Mm -hmm. you, you know, from that point of view. Yeah, I, I think everything. Um, I've had, I've got friends in Kalayo, and some of the comments I need to bite my lip because I'm never ever going to see it in our perspective because they, they keep coming around. We refund you, we support you. You will not. Yeah, they don't understand that Scotland's they're biting the hand of ism. But having said that, you see, Carlisle, Dumfries, sorry, Carlisle, Dumfries, all these areas are hotbeds anyway because they're so close to the border. Yeah, yeah. So they probably have more loyalty to England at the border than what they would have further up in Scotland. Yes, yes, absolutely. It's a, I mean, I know that area so well, having worked for uh, for ITV at border. Yes, well, I'll be there in two weeks' time for the weekend and then another two weeks after that. It the... is a gorgeous city, isn't it, Kareem? I, I, I have got a lot of love for it and it, to me it's a gateway to the Lake District yeah. and other areas so I, I, I just hope the weather's going to be... Do you know what, I'll tell you what you should do Kareem, remember I told you about Gelt Woods and all that sort of thing, yeah. that's where my dogs were just so happy, you know they, they just absolutely loved it and in actual fact that's where their ashes are, they're in the Gelt, ah, you see, lovely. so there you are, I don't mind sharing that with you and they've gone out to see on the Eden but if have a look at the villages come out of the road from Carlisle towards Newcastle, yes, and uh, you know, and take a wee turn off at the Gelt there, and go up and take a tour round the uh, the fell villages there, right. and you'll yeah. just get your eyes open to beauty. I mean, try and catch it, you know, when the colours come in before the winter yeah. comes in. But uh, it's absolutely stunning, Kareem, the whole area. Have you been near the airport? Because I know Stephen is actually an airport down there. Yes, there's a lovely airport down there. I don't know. It used to have a London flight. Um, right. And I think it was even a daily flight at one point. I don't know if it flies at all or if it goes weekly or whatever's happening with the pandemic. But they have a superb little airport there. Yeah. I, I think I was reading... When I was considering buying a second house down there, although I've bought a new house up here now, that's uh -huh. not ever happened. But I was reading that, that they are building thousands, I think 10,000 houses at the south of Kalil. So there's going to be massive investment. And I think they were going to do a lot more flights uh, to places from the Kalil airport. So right. You never know, people might be from Scotland traveling to Kalil airport to get to places. Absolutely. And you'd only be minutes because you're way out of Carlisle if you had to go to London meetings. And of course, with an ITV company, you very often had to, was was train. It was an excellent rail service from what they call Citadel Station, the main Carlisle station. And then, you, you know, you're down to Lancaster and Preston and then uh, down to London. See where the train station is in Kaleo is but that used to be like because it, it looks like castle ruins all around about. Ah no no yeah. these these are two up at the court houses you've got two rotundas. Right. Yes. Right. No the castle of course as you know is a little bit further over further and that goes yeah. back to William the Conqueror. You know, I mean, that's that's interesting stuff. And I think actually Mary, Queen of Scots, was in it as well. And I'm not sure, you would need to check this, but I think Carlisle at one point was in Scotland. Ah, right. You know, and Scotch, Scotch Street was where Robert Burns stayed. 
Scotch right. Street. So it's and, and a lot of it's called after they must have had uh, money. I don't know if it was mining money or whatever, but the big house down at um, in Derbyshire, Chatsworth, yes, right. and uh, the the Cavendishes. So there's a lot of roads in Carlisle with Cavendish and uh, and Hartington and all that sort of stuff in the city centre. Beautiful old uh, Georgian housing. You know, and there's a place called Stanix, Stanwicks, and uh, you can go up there and there's an art college and you can turn off for the art college and that will take you out the back road to the airport. Yeah, I, I know. That, I think it's that, out that side as well where the, the Tesco is. Uh, that's, the, uh, that's the other side. So that's heading out towards the Newcastle Road, the A69. Uh, so yeah. this one... This one is further up. You go into the town, come to what they call Hardwick Circus, and then right. you would go up the hill towards Scotland. That was the old road into Carlisle before the motorway. Right, okay. So you went through Gretna and uh, East Riggs and all that and into Carlisle that way down the hill. Right, okay. Yeah. I always thought it was just one bridge that would take you across there, but there must be, must be other ways over. Well, yes. Well, what you would do, you would come down that bridge past uh, Stanix and then uh, you would come back down to Hardwick Circus and then you would go up and turn left to the east and that will take you out to the 69. Right. Okay. Yep. I know you are. Fantastic it's stuff. Place. Oh, it is. It is. Right. I better go or we'll take it up the whole hour. I know, Scott. You listen. Take care. I'll speak to you when you're going again. Okay. Lovely talking to you. Thanks, Kareem. Thank well you. done, sir. Bye now. Bye. Thank you. There we are. That's our Kareem. Lots and lots to talk about tonight, guys. Of course, there you are. And you can see that uh, we are live on Twitch and on Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Tremendous stuff. And we might even join up with our dear friends on the TikTok. Hello, you're live with Scottish phone in. Who's that? Dinky do, Scott. Uh, I dinky do. How's Glenn tonight? How's it going? Oh, listen, fantastic, Glenn. I wasn't sure if I should pop up this week or just leave but, it till the weekend, but I thought we'll just, pop up and see what's to do. You're a sly fox, are you, Scott? Hey, what do you think? You're a, you're a sly lad. You've got to be Scott with these. My, uh, You've got to be with all these people, haven't you, Glenn? You've got to have your wits about you. You've, you've got to get it going longer than it has to be on, uh, I think. You know, with phone ins, you need it longer than this. Do you think so? Two hours, I reckon. A two hour phone in every night? Possibly, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll have to build it first, Glenn. That's the thing. You know, we've Quite just good. added, we've uh, added another platform tonight. Yeah. So they're coming to join us, and that's good, isn't it? With small acorns in it. Little acorns, the great oak shall grow. Exactly. Fantastic. I think, I think, like I said, I think if you'd have this, I keep on repeating this, if you'd have had it on 90s, what we've got now. Oh, oh my goodness me. Yeah. We. We'll get the TikTokers to join us, I think, shall we? Scotty in virtual reality. Yeah, virtual reality, that's it. Yeah. Fantastic. I mean, I can't, I can't wax lyrical enough how good technology is, though, can you? Oh, it's just wonderful. As I said the other night, Glenn, it's just amazing that we're actually on. I mean, you, you can be watching your own telly. Yes, you can. You can. People, people have got it on telly. You can be talking to your on your mobile. Yeah. You can do I'm the lot. People. You can order a takeaway while you're talking to Sky. Absolutely. And here we are live on internet with an internet phone in. Now, think how big that is, Glenn. Yeah, definitely. Do you know, that is to, huge. I, what do you reckon to uh, Norris leaving, Corrie, then? Scott? Oh, I saw it tonight, actually. You know, great guy. Great guy, yeah. Malcolm. You know what I mean? As I say, he was a theatre man. I think he's a Yorkshireman, Scarborough. I yeah. think so. I, I I don't know. I don't know exactly, but I'm sure he was a theatre director in Scarborough. Well, it, it, it's been in it. He played another role in it in the 70s, apparently, called Carlos. Carlos. Uh, who was he? Was he a Spanish lad or something? Yeah, well, I think Mavis were in that role as well. That's right. Mavis was in yeah. love with him. 
then he came back in it when Derek and Mavis ran Gavin, then he were Rita. That's it. Do you not think that it had a more innocent feel to it? I think so. I think it's got more more comedy to it weren't well it's that? got it's, it's got, 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 got a bit less believable somehow now do you think it's got a little bit more yeah it's it's too stuff. there's all too much rough stuff Drama. happening yeah. tragedy and hospitals and disaster yeah. and you know what i mean it was just about everyday life it was supposed to be called is it Rosadale street uh... um now wait a minute uh florizel street Floresville, yeah, that's the one. Floresville Street, I think it was originally. Did you have to, did you watch the uh, one off? The documentary one, on it, it. yeah. Uh, Jesse Wallace had to reach standards, weren't it, weren't you? Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, absolutely. I mean, brilliant yeah. stuff. You see, the guys that ran ITV in the Northwest were tremendous yeah. guys. Lord yeah. Bernstein and his brother, Mr. Sidney yeah. and Mr. Cecil. And they'd run all the created. they'd run the cinemas. The institution what they created though is phenomenal. Oh, it's uh, absolutely beautiful Granada Television, and I just I walked mean, along the road. I've always been a big fan of Coronation Street since I was a kid, anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, some great stuff in it, and uh, who's your, who your best character of all time? Then? I don't. I, I quite like Johnny Briggs, Mike Baldwin. Yeah. But I'll tell you, do you know who I think is a brilliant, brilliant actor? Is it uh, Roy? Oh, brilliant. David Nielsen, yeah. David Nielsen, fantastic actor. And he good just singer. he just gets it right, you know? He's a, he's a good singer as well, actually. That, all right. Ah, fantastic. He, he, was singing, he was singing back at Dave Roy Orbison's uh, song on Stars in Their Eyes a few years back. Actually. Yeah, well, you see, they're all multi talented, these guys. They're brilliant people. I mean, when and, you look and Barbara Knox, show. Barbara Knox that played Rita. And you've got these young little little ones coming into it now, thinking they must be so intimidated by the legends like Ken and Kev and uh, Rita. You know, oh, put yeah. a lot put, put under the wing, and these older generation will put them under the wing and say, "We'll put you in the right direction." You know, like Simon and all them. That's it. Kids. That's it. Now, what about, um, I'll tell you another one I love, Bill Tarmy. Yeah? yeah Jack, Duk Jack. Jack Duckworth and Vera, Jack and Vera, and Alec Gilroy, Roy Baraclough. Yeah. Another cracker. And then they bring uh, Tyrone into it, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, Jack. Yep. And Roy Hutt. Roy Hutt. And then he, he came in at his nephew out to Benidorm. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic stuff, all these things. She's, and, a, she's a good actress, though, the one of Maureen Littman, isn't she? Oh, I'm she's like outstanding. Well, and I, yeah. I love the I love the sort of atmosphere she creates in the hours. Did you see her tonight yeah. with Tyrone? Yeah, she keeps that Norris style humor going, doesn't she? Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful she's stuff. And I loved, I loved Norris's uh, his gossipy style. Oh well, you know, <laughs> sort of that's yeah. what I heard anyway type stuff. You, you prefer that to drama side, really, definitely. Yeah, I do. Well, I love the comedy, as I say. Roy Barraclough was terrific comedian. Yeah. You know the comedy, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Um, who else did we have? Uh, Betty in the pop. Yeah. Now she was so believable. You could see her in any pub in the north. Definitely, yeah. Uh, Bet Gilroy. What can I get? You love Bet Gilroy as well. Julie Goodyear. Fantastic. We could go on and on. We could go on. We'd better, better on. not though, because everybody would be going daft trying to get through. We're just teaching them one or two things about a British institution, though. Absolutely, always, that's what we are doing, Glenn. They'll, they'll, they'll be going to us. Are they talking about these young guns are coming out thinking? What's to do? <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I love my Emmerdale as well. I'm terrible, you know. I've got a terrific weakness for soaps. I can remember years ago when I worked for ITV, and yeah. uh, I can remember um, I was having a drink with one of the directors late night on a Friday at the social club, as they had in these days. And yeah. he says to me, he said, do you know what I'd do if I were you? He says, I buy myself a flat cap and get down to Yorkshire Television. You should have been in last summer wine, Scott. Eh? Hey? You there's, should have started in last summer wine. Hey, maybe there's time yet, you know. 
bring it back. <laughs> get it, get Scotty McClue on telly. Definitely. I think sometimes when they get rid of comedies, though, like last summer when I think they, they finish it at the right time, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think that's right, actually, because but these were great actors. And I can remember round the corner from where I lived in Sheffield, they were yeah. filming it. They don't want to be revamping it for Sacred, do they? Well, you, the problem is you revamp something, people have got high expectations. It never comes up to it. No, you can't be it can be as like good that. as you like, but it's not the same. It's a bit like Dad's Army. You can't yeah. redo it. You don't like the film, then. I didn't mind it, but it's just, yeah. it wasn't the same. Catherine Zeta-Jones and all that. Yeah, I thought it was brilliant. I thought the guys put in it fantastic. But they just went Arthur Law, John Le Mesure, all that lot, you know, Clive Dunn. They've got so much legendary status to live up to, aren't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, Arthur Law yeah. was a superb comedian. He was in Coronation Street. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, I'm, I'm going to have to dash. No You'll get me it. home. Love you to bits. Take care. Love you, Scott. Dinky do, Dinky top do, man. Dinky do, Dinky do yeah. Lala. There we are. That's our Glenn from Sheffield. Now, if you've just joined us, good evening, TikTokers. Get following. How are we here? Welcome, welcome, I say. Sunday evening telly was the best. Last of the summer wine. Hello, hello. And it ain't half hot bum. Absolutely fantastic stuff. There we go. Now, who have I got here? What's going on here? Let's get rid of this little troll on the TikTokers. Guys, if you've just joined us on TikTok, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We brought you up to join in the phone-in. Tremendous stuff. Scotty's phone-in. We're only a couple of weeks old, but we're the biggest internet phone-in, and you can come and join us. There's no comedy like still game, Scotch and Ryan, one foot in the grave. Ryan, very, very good. So there we are, Dinky Do. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you. MacIver1. And thank you for sending all these lovely likes. Lots and lots of new TikTok videos for you. Uh, right, what do we got here? Let's see what's going on here. There's a bit of chat for you. Uh, now, let's see who's here. Get the chat going. Um, hmm. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Good evening, Scotty, says the wonderful David Taylor. I'm here, Scotty and friends. Vaughn, thank you. Good evening, Scotty, says John Marshall. Independence, bye-bye, monarchy. So there you are. No, I don't think so, Vaughn. will not be saying bye-bye, monarchy. More likely to be saying bye-bye, independence. Yep, and I think Scotland would do well. You must keep the monarchy, says David Taylor. 100%, David. Can I phone in, Scotty? Of course you can. I like Princess Anne, says Vaughn. Very, very hardworking. Yes, indeed. Uh, always listening to the old Facebook. Also subbed your YouTube channel, Scotty McClue. Scott, thank you for that. Everybody gets subbing the YouTube channel. And can you all follow me on Twitch? If you're a Twitcher, Scotty underscore McClue. Welcome to all our beautiful LinkedIners, of course. Dinky do the new to you, Scotty McClue, says Eddie Doyle. Top man, Kareem, you talk a lot of sense, says John Marshall. No notification, I'm subscribed. And ping the bell, Suzanne. You should be getting notified by YouTube when Scotty McClue goes live. Have you set it up right? The wonderful Gordon Robertson. Hello from we, Oliver, and me, Eddie Doyle. Uh, there we are. Any, anyone can phone in to Scotty. Uh, Aaron, yes, quite right. Hi, Susan, how are you? Says Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Scotty. Says the wonderful Susan Shaw. Neil Gormley, good evening, Sir Scotty. Good evening, Sir Neil. You're good, Susan. Thanks for asking. Evening, Scotty Dinky Do. Can we all please get liking and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty's live streams? Thank you. Please, thank you so much, Eddie. Hello, everyone, says Karim. Hi, Karim. I see you liked my project car, Scotty, which has turned out really nice. Better than I expected. That's the big Volvo. Was it a V70, Alistair? And that royal blue paintwork, very, very high quality. Alistair, what kind of car are you working on? Sorry, I've kind of answered that. Now, where does Scotty get his energy? Turbo charged, I say. Scotty goes global. It'll come. Uh, I was in Corrie 98, I played Lazy's Boy, says Greg. Excellent, Greg. Greg, I robbed Sally Webster. 
Had the car years just put new sills, arches, wings, brakes, and repainted the whole car. Well done, Alistair. I like Charlie West. He was my dad's mate. Scotty McClue, the voice of the nation. Eddie Doyle, dinky do, I say. Can I call you John Robertson? Of course you can. I'd rather save and restore my old car than buy a new one. I've got 19 and they're all classics. Alistair. There we are. Vera was a Mona. She was. She was a bit uh, poker faced. Alistair, did you get your glasses from Deirdre? <laughs> did you watch Pete practice, Glenn? Uh, says uh, Greg. Excuse me, says Alistair King. Now, uh, unfortunately, no, Eddie. I have a Morris Marina in the collection. Wow, well done for that one. Uh, I have the old Maestro and Ford Sierra. Um, I don't find you funny in the slightest. Says Alistair. Quite right, Alistair. Alistair, you have an Escort or a Cortina or a Granada. My mate's got an old Senator ex-police car from years ago. Yes, indeed. I knew somebody that had, they take the electrics out so you can't see how they're wired. And uh, for some, I don't know how they manage it, but they fill in the holes in the roof made by the blue light. Very clever. There we go. Uh, Greg, what about Opal Mantra or an Astra? Yes, good evening, Eddie. Uh, can't listen to you for everyone talking to me in this house. I tell them to wish. Tell them to wish, Suzanne. Say, Scotty McClue is live on right now. Uh, Suzanne, do you have earphones? Yes, you can put in your buds. Uh, and you get yourself back on Nation Radio, says John. Uh, well, we, we never know. Thank you, John. Uh, no bad, everybody. Uh, Scotty, what's Santa getting you this Xmas? 15 weeks to go. I know, Kareem. It's crazy stuff. Can you say hello to Natalie? Dinky do, Scotty. Tell Jamie to stop shouting. Good evening from Inverkip, says Shuggy. Thank you, Shuggy. Uh, this is everybody on TikTok. Scotty, I'm trying to get 2K. You'll get it, Peter. Watch my first Burniston. Ricky Fulton and Richard Wilson were just incredible. Comedy writers, they were extremely talented. They are extremely talented. I know Ricky's gone, but Richard is very much to the fore. Uh, there we go. Good evening, Sir Scotty. Geo Dog, how lovely to have you with us live on TikTok. We're bringing the TikTokers in to join in the phone in. Do you like that idea? There we are. Get yourselves on to the phone in. Uh, now, who else have we got here? Thank you, Greg. I don't think we'll go comments with that. Do you know what I was thinking tonight? Why is there rivalry called religious rivalry between Glasgow Rangers and Glasgow Celtic when they're both exactly, exactly the same religion? I don't understand. Very, very weird. So there we are. Get to your telephones as soon as you possibly can. Let's hear from you. You'll see the number in front of you there. Hi, everybody. There's D has joined us. Good evening. Ur Scotty. Good evening, D. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's internet phone in. This has only been going a couple of weeks and it's already huge. Welcome, 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 I say. Uh, sorry, your thoughts on Freemasonry. You'll not get Freemasonry, Geodog. Even simple pointing will cost you a lot of money. I know somebody at a huge country house, and even pointing the stonework was uh, 50,000 quid, and that's a few years ago. Scotty, you are sweating. No wonder with the heat in here. No wonder, as we say in Scotland. I'll give myself a mop down. There we are. Sometimes when you're performing, it goes with the territory, just with the heat from the lights. See, I'm sitting here bathed in light. You know, that's what it's about. Scotty, you're a man of knowledge. Can you tell me what it means with someone walking at the front of an orange walk with a Bible on a cushion? Yes. They will be bearing the Bible. The Orange Lodge is about the crown and the Bible the King James Version. So they're holding up the first um, non-Catholic Bible for the crown, the crown and the Bible. Yes, if anybody wants to add to that, feel free to do so. Uh, Greg says it saves the Bible getting sore legs. 
<laughs> there we are, wonderful stuff. So I would say, Eddie, what they're doing, they're leading with the word of God. Yes, the King James Version. But if somebody wants to add into that, they can do so. If anybody can tell me why is there rivalry between, uh, called religious rivalry between Celtic and Rangers, when they're both exactly the same religion. Very, very strange. There we are. Can we all just be atheists? Well, no. I mean, you know, what would you be an atheist from? What do you not believe in? My boat's MOTs, Jews, Scotty. <laughs> My boat's MOT. What a lot of nonsense. Dinky do. Scotty, do you watch football? Not really, to be honest with you. Not a big football fan. Uh, good evening, everybody. Who sent a beautiful red rose? Thank you, TikTokers, for your generosity and your beautiful gifts. Very, very much appreciated. I could tell you that for nothing. Turn the big light off. The big light. Scotty, what's the time limit on a phone in? Well, you can go on as long as you like. We do an hour, Eddie, because we're just starting out and we, you know, want to get the word out there. And um, I've, the main phone-ins are going to be Friday, Saturday. But I pop up in the evenings just to try things out. We've added a new platform tonight. So you should be able to uh, see us streaming live on LinkedIn. Fantastic. Glenn from the stream has a lovely story reading voice. Yes, he does, Greg. Scotty, be careful. There's a car behind you. I know, Kareem. Yes, indeed, a P38 Range Rover. Now, TikTokers, if you go on to Scotty McClue's videos on TikTok, you'll see two lovely little videos made to show you the detail inside that P38 Range Rover model. It's a model. There we are. My friend Mikey loves your content. Uh, hello, Scotty. That's a marvelous P38. Did you like it, Disco Boy? Love the photos behind us are awesome. There's Lord Reith the Labrador. Can you see him there? How fantastic is that? And a big dinky do to you. I've been approached as you'll be interested in opinions. Geo Dog, you would need to find out more about it, to be honest with you. Uh, so there you are. Do you play football? Well, I don't play for Scotland. I can tell you that straight. Scotty, I mean, <laughs> what have we got here? Scotty, politically motivated. It was early 20th century when Churchill's father created and played the orange card to create division among the working class. John Skinner, can I tell you that division was created a lot earlier than that? William Pitt was the prime minister. And Britain was getting concerned that Ireland was getting too strong and that all the so-called classes in Ireland were getting together and were becoming quite a formidable force. And somebody said, William, what are you going to do about Ireland? He said, I shall use the Orange Lodge to divide and rule. And to this day, politicians are working the Orange Lodge from the back to divide and rule. It's failing, though, because of Brexit, I have to say. Remember, Alf Roberts died in Corrie and his life insurance expired at midnight. Audrey never seen a coin. Poor Audrey. What a treat. It did, Skinner, and it did in those days as well. So there you are. So I can tell you, Scotty, when somebody's talking to you on the phone, how long do they have? whilst on a call to you. As long as you like, Eddie, if the call's interesting. I mean, we've had Kareem and Glenn on tonight, and they were very, very good. You know, they, they, they've got a lot to say and say it very well. Scotty, I like the tartan on your bonnet of a scarf. I would say that's Campbell. Yes, wouldn't you? Campbell, was your interior also a cream interior? Yes, indeed. Uh, you know, to me, a Range Rover should be green with cream leather. So there we are. Hello, my dear friend, Scotty McClure. Tycho. Hello, how are you? I'm here also, Kareem. You're very clever. Got to say, you uh, were on the radio. Uh, all you got was your my kind of people. Got to say, you were on the radio. All you got was my kind of people. What's that one? Not quite sure what you mean by that one. Tea or coffee? Uh, just a tea. Haven't a coffee for almost 40 years. How amazing is that? I do, yes. A charmer. 
Scotty, I'd say Black Watch. Yes, it might be Black Watch, actually. What do we say, folks? The Tartan and McClure's Bunnet. Let's find out. There we are. Thoughts on the Titanic. Did you see that there's a theory that it wasn't the Titanic that went down, it was the Olympic? I don't know. There's all these conspiracy theories. I have stayed in the house that used to be owned by the chairman of White Star. So there we are, Bruce Ismay, who actually got off the Titanic, but he was mocked a lot and he died a broken man. But I've stayed in his house. There we are. Fanta, I'm Les Battlesby's boy, Greg. Excellent, Greg. Good one for you. I wouldn't have minded a wee job because I just walked along the radio, along the road when it was the Century Radio. There we are. Have you any thoughts on the poem First They Came by Pastor Martin Nymuller? Yes, indeed, Nicky's. Now, I always think about it these days when I see when people are being punished or having the finger pointed. I think they came and then they came for me. Oh, yes, indeed. With somebody doing the nut about it yesterday, very, very strange. Yinky do, Scotty boy. Blair, lovely to have you with us. There we are. It might be a Celtic tartan, or a Celtic tartan. Fantastic. Yes, very, very, very amazing, powerful poem, Nicky, is well done. Did you ever drink in the Royal Guards in Edinburgh? Uh, Basil, to be honest with you, I think I drank in a lot of places in Edinburgh in my time. There we are. I used to get taken here, uh, there, hither and thither, as they say, hither and thither. Scotty, I could see you and Corey as a Scottish cousin of Archie Shuttleworth. I would need to put on a lang face. A lang face. Hello, Archie. We've still got the business in Glasgow. We're doomed, doomed. There we are. Do the big eyes for you. So there we are. Yes, uh, a lot of thoughts on that one, Nick is. I can tell you. Leslie Davis, thank you for my beautiful red roses. Uh, what's the shortest road in Glasgow? Now, 666 Colin. I think I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's a very short little street, and it's in the city centre. Am I right? And it's something like 22 yards long. Is that correct? 66 feet. Scotty, I love your video appearances on TV. I watch them over and over. You've got good patter. So which ones was that one, Eddie? Was that the one with uh, Nikki Campbell? Nikki Campbell and Barbara Dixon, what a fabulous pair they were. Stand in Airdrie. Uh, so there we are. Fantastic. Excellent. Get me on to the stand. Is that the comedy club? Scotty McClure, can you rap? Oh, can I rap? particularly, uh, you know, coming up to Christmas. Uh, hey, Scotty, an absolutely amazing, splendid, spectacular person. Mitt's biggest fan. What a lovely thing to say. Dinky do to everybody, all our beautiful TikTokers. Welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure's phone in. I'll just pop you over so that you can see. Scotty, the street is Clay Slaps Road in Glasgow. Shortest road, Eddie Doyle. Is it 22 yards? Is it in the city centre? There we go, guys. I'm just going to pop this up for you so you can see what's happening. Right. Excellent stuff. Have we all got that? There we are. Coming up now, live phone in across the internet. We're on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Welcome, welcome, I say to you. Right. Back we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Can you know, Scott, it's Fast Pat. Fast Pat, how are we tonight, Lala? Lovely to have you with us. Um, good, thanks, Scott. Off today. Now, Fast Pat, I think maybe I had to cut you off one night because we're mentioning second names. We'll not be doing that this evening. We'll not be doing that, my dear man. So you had a day off and you had a bit of a break. I did indeed. Um, I washed my bins and then I washed my lorry. Wow. Then I washed my lorry. Wow. In, in the afternoon, I walked the dog and I went to my jeans. My house. And do you do the wheels when you do the lorry? The full lot, Scotty, even the exhaust. 
because I, I remember a guy telling me, he said, if you're stuck, do the wheels. Popping. He said, if you're stuck, do the wheels. It makes a huge difference. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I cleaned the, I cleaned the, the, the box out today as well. I cleaned the, the cabin anyway. The cabin is a good call. Beautiful. Um, I've been very, very productive. And then uh, I tuned into yourself uh, with a couple of cakes and a cup of coffee. How fantastic, Fastback. What do you think of the phone in? How do you think it's going? I think it's good. It gives us listeners a chance to interact with you and yeah. get, get, get to know you a bit better and contribute and help you with the show. Uh, I think it would help build your audience. I think it's doing well. I think it's doing very well. When you think we're a couple of weeks old, that's from the experimental stage. So we're really only about a few days old. Yes, we really, we really need to get this ship amongst the community. It's sharing it, isn't it? It's telling everybody, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, and getting people's confidence just to give us a call. I, I'm glad you're back on the phone, Scotty. I, I think it's, uh, it's brought another uh, bow, bow to your, uh, sorry, another arrow to your... Another your string to the bow. Another, another arrow to the quiver. Yes, for the, for the YouTube, yes. <laughs> There's nothing on the internet like this. There isn't, and there never ever will be because we do just, we, we want it to be spectacular and nobody else can do it. Correct. Um, well, Scotty, I don't want to hog all the line. Um, I'll let you go. Fast uh, pack, I am so proud of you for doing all that work. It's, it's nice seeing Glenn back on the line uh, or back on the stream and Kareem. It's been a while since I've seen the guys, but it's nice to, nice to see them back on line. They're well. back with us and we're all together again and that's what matters. We're back with a bang, Scotty. We're back with a bang. Dinky do, Fast Pat. Good night, Scotty. Good night. God bless you, sir. Top man. There we are. That's our Fast Pat. And uh, Fast Pat has his own lorry. And uh, he likes to keep it beautiful. Hi, Scotty. Nice seeing you, my friends, and the wonderful Leslie Davis. You're a great entertainer. Do you like our broth smokies? Mad Mouse John. I love an our broth smoky. I used to eat them out my horns like that. <laughs> Mm, wonderful stuff. There we go. I love our broth, beautiful people. What is happening? Says Mick's biggest fan. What's happening is that you're live in the middle of the phone in, and all the TikTokers have come and joined us as well, just as a wee extra treat. Uh, Scotty, Airdrie, do you ever go on the CB radio, Eddie? I uh, don't, but uh, I can remember it well. You know, hello, big breaker. What am I hitting you with? One night for a rig check. Over. All that stuff. Uh, there's a village in Airdrie called Stand. Ah, I thought you meant the Stand Comedy Club. <laughs> there we are. You sound a bit like Ian Cuthbertson, Stephen Menzies, or Stephen Mingus. How do you prefer it, Steve? I think we agreed Menzies, didn't we? But um, Ian Cuthbertson was a terrific actor. Big Ian. Sutherland's Law. Charlie Endell Esquire. Do you remember that? Great guy, Ian Cuthbertson. Big theatre man as well. Big Ian. And his father, if I remember right, was a very famous Glasgow surgeon called Sir William Cuthbertson. So there you go. So medical family. Big Ian, lovely man. Used to write a column in, was it the Scottish Field, eating out with Ian Cuthbertson. And you got all the, the restaurants and things like that. Great guy. What do we got here? Who sent 25 beautiful red roses? Leslie Davis. How lovely of you. Thank you so much. Yes, says Colin. Geodog. Uh, sir, it was indeed the Titanic that sank. Too much evidence being salvaged ah geodog did you ever see a film raise the titanic now that was uh, lord grade sir lou grade that paid for that and he said it would have been cheaper to drain the atlantic than raise the titanic than do the film scotty why is sectarianism in your mind about rangers and Celtic? because of all the recent stuff that we've had eddie and I wonder if these people who are sectarian realize that they're of an absolutely identical religion. Absolutely the same religion. There is only one Christian religion. And they go, oh, it's a religious thing, but different religions. No, 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 no. News, flash. You might be different denominations, 
of the same religion. That's all. I was only saying, just pointing it out. Clay Slaps Road, good one, 666, Colin. Love your videos. Love the picture of your dad. Fantastic. Leslie, thank you. He was a very lovely man, my father. Favorite place in the world? Oh, I have so many favorite places. All of Scotland, all of England, all of Ireland. Haven't been to America yet. I love Europe. Oh, so many favorite places. Good, thanks, Shazzy. Just had a black rooster, peri peri chicken and rice. Ah, all these chickens will come home to roost. I tell you, well done. I hope you enjoyed every second of it. Only one faith, one belief, Christian Scotty. Yes, I agree. Absolutely, Eddie. There we are, 14. You should have a lot more with your knowledge. Matthew, you have to build these things up. I was talking to somebody today that said, no, listen, if you get a couple of hundred these days, that's big stuff. I mean, I'm used to quarter of a million, half a million people watching. But we are very, very new. And when people realize there's a lot of fun to be had, they will come and join us on the phone in. Scotty boy, I think you should grow a bad boy beard for Christmas. Beachy, 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 beachy. Can I tell you that um, if you look back at some of my uh, Christmas type videos, very, very Santa Claus, very, very Sunny Claus. There we are. Yes, I mean, Matthew, we should be going out to the whole world. Along from the park bar. Ah, that's where it is. Yes, I'll have a look about that. Is it 22 yards long? Can you sing that song, Buffalo Bill from Mary Hill? He never worked and he never will. <laughs> God, Scotty, I'm glad you're here. You cheer me up. Michigan biggest fan. Got to do the wheels. Absolutely, Leslie. Thank you for following us live on TikTok. Why do you remind me of Rabsi Nisbet? I haven't a clue. Uh, shows our age, absolutely. Hi from Poland. Hi, Poland. I am Pan Maklu. Pan Maklu from Poland. Uh, any news to report, Dinky Doo? There's always something going on here. Dinky Doo. Scotty, how are you doing tonight? Says top of the morning to you. Excellent top of the morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Scotty boy. Scotty, have you ever preached at a church service from the Word of God? Eddie Doyle, I have. I have preached from the pulpit, but not obviously in an official capacity. But I preached as a television announcer that everybody knew very well in their area. And uh, I did an evening service. I met Russell Hunter on a train from Dundee to Edinburgh. Some lovely theatre stories. I was laughing so much and the journey went so quickly. A lovely guy and a great actor, Stephen. You're quite right. Now, he uh, also, I think Russell was married to Una McLean. Yes? Or is it Una McLean? Una McLean. I remember Una very, very well. And uh, Russell was, he was lonely uh, in, uh, in a drama. Yes, what was the drama called again now? It was uh, it was quite spooky, and he played the character in that. But I attended a show with Russell called Jock, and he it was a one-man show. And Russell entertained us for the whole evening on his own. Tremendous. There we are. How are you doing tonight, Scotty? Dinky do. Before Henry VIII, there was only one. Ah, as a Catalan, I love Scotland. We love you, Catalan. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Catholic in Greek means universal, one religion. You are correct, real bigdom. Yes, indeed. And if you look at my TikTok videos, you'll see last night, do you speak Latin? I said, there you are. Scotland, the best country. Give your burdens to the Lord and he shall sustain you. Psalm 55, cast your burden upon the Lord. The Psalms are fantastic. I find Rangers fans worse than Celtic fans. In what respect, Greg? Scotty, what was the title of your sermon? The title of my sermon was Where You Live. 
Do you realize how beautiful it is? And another title of a sermon is, An old lady got on a bus, and she said to the driver, How much to the cross? And I would like to ask every single one of you tonight, How much to the cross? What is the price of going to the cross? And are you willing to pay it, walking in the footsteps of our Lord and Master Jesus Christ? So there you are. Scotty, do you like the book of Proverbs? I like every single book in the Bible. Some of it's quite disturbing. Have a wee read of Leviticus. That'll sort you out, I shall tell you. But the psalm is beautiful. Psalm 119. What about the letters of St. Paul? There we are. What about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? St. Luke, the Christmas story. And there were in that same field shepherds abiding, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for unto you this night in the city of David is born a son, and his name shall be Wonderful Counselor, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Beautiful stuff. He certainly was. He was married to Ian McLean. I believe he lived in Leith. Yes, indeed, Stephen. Uh, so there we are. Fantastic. Off to the telephones. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Professor Numpty Heat. Professor Numpty Heat Free. Professor Numpty Heat Free. Embra. Spell E M E M B R U G H. Embra. I'm an Amos. Hi, Muth. Ken. Ken. No. I'm in the, I'm in the Barbers. Now then, listen, I'm sitting outside because it's a lovely night and I'm listening to the stars in the sky, Scotty. Oh, lovely. Well, I should be in the house listening to Scotty. You should. You should never I'm miss a second of Scotty McClure. I'm outside and I'm, I'm enjoying the, the cold night. I can see you're sweating in the studio there. But anyway. I'm well, we're a wee bit cold. warm. You know, I don't sweat. I perspire. Aye, right. Anyway, apart from that, you see that angel of the North statue? What's on the one? The angel of the North. Did you go and see it? No, they should knock it down. Not at all. It's beautiful. No, they should, because see, when you go in that corner and you see the monstrosity that they've left. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Gives you a fright. Not at all. You're frightened of your own shadow. I'll tell you. And this nonsense about the shortage of the lorry drivers, I've never had so much rubbish in my life. Plenty of, we've just had fast pat on tonight there. Aye, and what was he saying? He's a lorry driver, he was saying he'd given the lor lorry a good once over. Well, you'll have to work, Scotty, because there's a shortage apparently. Ken? I think they're pulling us for the back. Do you think we're all getting worked through the back? Aye, Ken, what's wrong, Scotty? Go on. The the Hollywood companies have been getting away with paying slave labour wages. Now that Brexit's happened, we've, uh, we've, we've, we're back to where we used to be, where we paid a decent living wage. Now the, the Hollywood companies are like, no, we want, we want the cheap stuff. So this is why we've made drivers, because they're trying to get away with cheap, cheaper wages. I don't think I've ever heard so much nonsense in my life. I know. I've never had so much rubbish coming at you. I'll tell you, you're talking nonsense. You're at the caca. There we go. Now, who have we got here? I want to believe, but sometimes with all the evil in the world, I question my faith. Neely Davy, can I tell you that, um, you know, with all the evil in the world, all the more reason to strengthen your faith. Good must always triumph over evil. Always go for the good. Good night, Scotty. Good night, Susan Shaw. Night, night, every day. Scotty, the price that was paid at the cross was Jesus shedding his blood for all of his sinners. He died to give us life and is alive forevermore. The blood shall never lose its power. Wow, Eddie Doyle. Very powerful stuff indeed. How are our beautiful TikTokers? Do you enjoy a vegetarian haggis, Scotty? Have you ever been to Spain? I haven't been to Spain. Scotty, when are these badges coming and say, oh, beachy, beachy? Would you like a Scotty McClue dinky do badge? Fantastic. We'll maybe get the merch on the go. Uh, shout out to Alex Dinky Doo. Absolutely, Alex. 
Wonderful stuff. That's what's about. Alex Clark. Big Plainsley loves Scotty. We love Big Plainsley, Mick. Some of it can be cruel. Yes, very cruel. I see. Uh, Tam will join uh, a mass away next week. Despite being from the Bible Belt of the U.S., says Kirby the Annihilator, I've never made it around to reading the Bible. Well, you should dip in and dip out. It's all the Word of God. I can tell you that. Love that from Charlie Brown Christmas. Somebody else famous came from Leith. Oh, sunshine and Leith. Lots of famous people from Leith. I can tell you. Mad Mouse, dinky do. Uh, now, yes, it was Lamb, the poet, was one of the very famous people from Leith. Uh, morning, the Duke of Dundee. Good morning, Onion Badgie. Hello, Scotty. What's new? This is a better stream, says Beachy Beachy. Absolutely Beachy Beachy. Um, anybody that's not read the Bible is a lunatic. Oh, no, Mick. Come on, there's always time. For people to come and join us. Are you any good at sports, Scotty? What's your favourite sport? Neely Davy, I was a big rugby man. Front row, front row, tight head prop, down first. Boom! And uh, rowing. But I put that down in my CV and somebody thought it was rowing. So there you go. Good evening, Scotty and everyone. Good evening, Kareem Shagdu says good evening, Scotty. Sunshine and Leith. I love that by the Proclaimers. Great movie, Sunshine on Leith. Absolutely love it. So there you go. Tremendous stuff. Wonderful, wonderful actors in it as well. Peter Mullen. Peter Mullen. I'll tell you, another uh, time I loved Peter Mullen was in War Horse. Have you seen the movie War Horse, guys? If you haven't, try and get it. Now, we're running out of time. The Bible brings inner peace, says Mick. It does indeed, Mick. Scotty, the Bible is the only book that gives life, as all scriptures living and breathing with knowledge and guidance. Correct. Correct, guys. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky you. Are we tuning in the box, Scotty? Have we got time? We've just got time for a tune in the box, folks. Here is the box. Yes. And uh, here's one for you. Are you ready? Right. <laughs> people that's for you we're gonna have to dash make sure you subscribe to youtube follow me on twitch scotty underscore mcclue send everything with scotty mcclue round and round and round share and share and share thank you for watching tonight happy monday night from everybody here at scotty mcclue dinky do and uh as we see in the best of circles, ta las Thanks for watching, guys. Have a beautiful night. I'll see you tomorrow night at 9 o'clock sharp. And then, of course, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night, 10 o'clock, Saturday night, 10 o'clock. For the internet, phone in. Spread the word. ta las